Welcome back to News Across Nigeria. The Cross River State Government uh, is saying that it is not a haven that is a state for criminals and thieves of petroleum products. And there's the story coming up just now where one particular illegal oil bunker, a suspect, was apprehended by the relevant agencies. Details uh, also to come in just a moment, but let's remind you that all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Do visit m.channelstv.com to view us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. We'd also like to urge you to please interact with the eyewitness feature and the Channels TV app. If you have pictures or videos you'd like to share with us, tap the app on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. Cross River State is not a haven for petroleum product thieves, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps is determined to keep it that way. The state command of the NSCDC lined up a suspect named of Louis Ekwazi, who was arrested in Calabar South local government area with over 100 drums of petroleum products by operatives of Sector 3 Operation Pulo Shield following a raid in that area. Crude oil theft, pipeline vandalism, petroleum product theft is one act of economic sabotage that has assumed a worrisome proportion. But the good news is that there has been a stepped-up counter-operation by security outfits and it is yielding results. What we are witnessing today is partnership, collaboration, synergy in perspective. The military, our brothers have handed over to us for prosecution. One suspect caught in a legal bunker with exhibits, exhibits that contains over 70 uh, drums of AGO, 70 drums of empty, uh, five uh, pumping machines. And these are things that are destroying the economy of this nation. I want to appeal to other security agencies that believe in the true nature of this country that we, there's a need for us to collaborate. A demonstration of this collaboration between security operatives is the handing over of this suspected oil thief by the military to men of the NSCDC. The suspect who is said to have confessed to purchasing the product on the Portacot waters also claimed economic reasons for his involvement. Um, uh, his agent who directed me to the place in Portacot in Limbe Waterside. I meet the agent in Limbe Waterside. He directed me to the bash. They used to carry with bash. Then when they carry with bash, they will sell for you. If you need for any quantity, they sell for you. Uh, this is my first trip. Um, we used to sell. Um, but the people using it in uh, uh, in hotel, uh, but the people were using it in uh, by gen or something like that. They used to buy one one drone, two two drones. No, so it is my first trip. The civil defense boss says the suspect will remain in detention pending the outcome of further investigations, which will be widespread. And staying in Cross River State, the governor, Ben Ayadi, has been conferred with the award of excellence by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO. He was awarded for his leadership and foresight in improving the lives of the people of the state. The CEO of the U.S. UNESCO Club Center and Association, Mr. Guy Jokin, said the award is aimed at boosting Governor Ayadi's morale to initiate more result-oriented projects. He told the governor that UNESCO, through the support of the United States, is willing to collaborate with the state chambers of commerce and industry to aid in agriculture, renewable energy, education, and healthcare delivery. Governor Ayade, who sees the award as a call for more work, has also charged UNESCO to complement the state's tourism drive under the Medical Tourism Ban. Is that we can have speci specificity or specialization to the point that we can have a specific hospital dedicated to a specific ailment. You can partner with us in that respect. 
And in these three core areas I have mentioned, I believe that if you choose any one of them, the state is favorably disposed to providing funding to support such activities. Yours is to give us a lead way to the right professionals, to the right team where the resource is, and assist us deploy the resource to the benefit of our project. As a state, we have made an aggressive provision for specialist hospital support services in Cross River State. And I think we shall actually be the leaders in medical tourism in no distant time. Ben Ayade, Cross River State Governor, let's mosey on down to the southwest, where the Ogun State Government says development of the state remains a priority despite the dwindling resources. Governor Abikulu Amosu said that his administration is working on 40 legacy projects that will outlive him. He was the guest on our breakfast program where he gave assurances that the state is secure for investment. If you don't get it right, there can be no development. Anywhere in the world, it is there written. Any maybe researches, whatever you do, they will tell you that you need to put infrastructures in place. And what are infrastructures for me? Not beyond even the road that people are saying. Of course, your environment must be spot on, must be very neat. Security, without security, nothing can be achieved. Before we came, I used to say this, and please permit me to say this, uh, even though we have more beyond that. People will say, Ogun State is not secure, but today, oh, Ogun State is very secure. The Shagamu uh, Bini Express Road lies within the corridor of Ogun State. Again, on that, we have a 6% of that road to order, with those some percentage and the rest uh, do. I've told you, the Korodu Gijo Road, go and look at it. The old Abekuta Road, go and look at it. The Odeda Ibadan Road, go and look at it. All of those roads, they are so critical to our development. We have more than 40 projects, really. But we believe that to probably add value and let our people see our little efforts, we've now identified 40 of those legacy projects, we call them. Not just projects, projects that will have to leave us. Ogun State Governor Ibukule Amosu, speaking of development in that state, not too far away in Nikiti State, uh, the government there is also saying they're holding nothing back in setting a good standard for the popular Fayoshe market in Adokiti, the state capital. Governor Ayodele Fayoshe is inspecting the level of work done on the lockup shops you can see right now being built to replace containers. He told traders that using such containers to get rid of them by the time the shops are ready for commissioning in a few weeks. I'm building these shops so that people using containers in this shop can come and take advantage of it because as soon as this shop is completed, I'm going to take out all the containers in this shop. There must be standards. When you have fire accidents, you cannot help yourself and you can't help them because of the way and attitude of people to life and to, 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 to the environment itself. So I'm doing this to allow them to have an alternative. The shops are there for them to buy. So when you buy, after giving it out, I will take out all the containers. That, will be, that should be right of way for other people. The market should run well. In the event of an accident, people must be able to be taken to safety without issues. Ekiti State Governor, Ayo, Dr. Ayodele Fayoshe, you're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up, it's all about development and investment for the Niger Delta Development Commission as it partners with a Polish firm. Stay with us. <laughs> 